Black History Heroes. In this edition, we'll deal with Martin R. Delaney, who lives from 1812 to 1885. He was a major in the U.S. Army, a field general, and he served as the earliest physician, being one of the first few blacks to graduate Harvard. A journalist and a futuristic author, he treated patients with cholera, and he worked with Frederick Douglass on the North Star in 1847. He was quoted as saying, as men and equal, we would demand every right, privilege, and position to which whites are eligible in the United States. We would either attain these or accept nothing. There were a significant number of women attendees who also voted for the resolution, consider it the foundation of black nationalism. He wrote books called The Origin of Race and Color, and he used work from Ethiopia and ancient Egypt for the origin of races and colors. He also wrote books exposing the origin of Freemasonry, the origin and objects of ancient Freemasonry, an introduction into the United States and a legitimacy amongst colored men. He also wrote the condition, elevation, immigration, destiny, and the both colored people of the United States in the official report of the Niger Valley Exploration Party because he went to go search for places. And this is from the book. In conversations in the city of New York a few weeks ago with a colored lady of intelligence, one of the first families, the conversation being the elevation of colored people, we introduced immigration as a remedy in Central America as a place. We were somewhat surprised and certainly unprepared to receive the rebuke and reply. Do you suppose that I would go to the woods to live for the sake of freedom? No, indeed. If you wish to do so, go and do it. I am free enough here. Remarking the same time that her husband was in San Francisco and she was going to him and she learned that the city was quite a large and handsome place. We reminded her that the industry of the white men and women in four years time had made San Francisco what it is. Then in 1846, before the American immigration, it was surrounded by a dense wilderness. Delaney became more active in political matters. In 1835, he attended his first National Negro Convention, held in Philadelphia since 1831. He was inspired to conceive a plan to set up a black Israel on the east coast of Africa. So one of the first Pan-Africanists wanted to set up a black Israel. He was the first Zion. We are a nation within a nation as the Poles and Russia, the Hungarians and Austria, the Welsh, the Irish and the Scots and the British Dominion. This was said by Martin Delaney. Never forget the founder of black nationalism and never forget he wanted to set up a black issue. This was a free black society presentation.